Everyone has had something to say about Fat Thor in Avengers Endgame, and now Robert Downey Jr. has added his two cents. Chatting with Variety as part of the outlet's cover story all about Thor himself, Chris Hemsworth, Downey Jr. spoke out about the God of Thunder's striking new physique. Thor. Is he asleep? The five years after the Avengers post-Infinity War face-off with Thanos, which ended with Thor decapitating the tyrant, weren't kind to the God of Thunder. The mighty Asgardian sank into a pit of grief, isolating himself to a small shack in New Asgard and spending his days eating, drinking, and yelling at kids while playing Fortnite. He emerged after the time jump sporting a shaggy beard, unkempt hair that grew to his shoulders, and a protruding belly courtesy of barrels of beer and newfound love for cheese whiz. Chubby Thor divided fans, but where does the Iron Man actor sit on the spectrum? Downey Jr. revealed to Variety that he adores what Hemsworth did with the character, and praised his all-or-nothing performance. Boy, did he go bonkers! He went out to the bleeding edge. I have a rule, which is if you think you're at 70%, then start pulling back, because it's probably at 105%. He went out into some pretty risky atmosphere of nuttiness. I think about these panic attacks. Get it together! Hemsworth relished the experience of pushing himself to his limits and continuing to take risks with Thor. In fact, Hemsworth was so excited about being able to play Thor in a different way and enjoyed Chubby Thor so much that he pushed to keep the hero's plumper shape throughout the entirety of Endgame, lobbying to not have Thor undergo the planned mid-movie transformation where he gets fit again. He told Variety, I like that anything goes. You're not locked into expectations. I enjoyed that version of Thor. It was so different than any other way I played the character, and then it took on a life of its own. Give me that. You have the little one. <laughs> Hemsworth even found some joy in the not-so-fun parts of portraying Fat Thor, namely the heavy silicone prosthetics and extra weights he had to wear, saying, Physically, it was a good three hours in hair and makeup. Then the prosthetic suit, particularly for the shirt-off scene, that was a big silicone that weighed about 90 pounds. It was certainly exhausting. I had weights on my hands and ankles just to have my arms and legs swing differently when I shuffled along through the set. People just kept coming up and cuddling me like a big bear or rubbing my belly like I was pregnant, or trying to sit on my lap like I was Santa Claus you get a lot of affection. I felt like an old man, an old grandpa with a bunch of kids around. Downey Jr. wasn't the only Endgame guy who had kind words to say about Chubby Thor. The film's co-director, Anthony Russo, shared with Variety that Thor's arc in Endgame was among his favorite narratives in the entire film. Like Downey Jr., Russo also applauded Hemsworth's commitment to his character. Part of Chris's magic as a comedic actor is his dedication to the depth of the character on a very earnest level. It's so devious and subversive when comedy is coming from a place of complete commitment and emotional complexity. While those over in the Marvel camp clearly couldn't get enough of Fat Thor, others were less keen on the character's new look. His transformation from fit to fat, largely due to the trauma of the decimation and the subsequent grief Thor struggled to work through, didn't sit well with some viewers, many of whom felt that Avengers Endgame was poking fun at his troubles rather than celebrating him in the way they felt the film was doing with other heroes. At the end of the day, though, it looks like Fat Thor is here to stay, as Hemsworth has no desire to exit the Marvel Cinematic Universe anytime soon. I'd still love to do more, to be honest honest, and I don't know what the plan is. I feel like we've opened up such a different character. I feel more energized for the possibility of where it could go. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the MCU are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.